All right, y'all. Shalom, everybody. I'm back again. It's Bon Shemayim. Uh Today, we're going into this new news. <clears throat> I was about to come out with a lesson plan for one of the people in the chat, but today we're going through this new news about Biden, who just passed a... a let's go and read it. It says, Biden creates task force to combat anti-Semitism. Uh, as black people still want specific protection. So without further ado, we're going to get in here and get into it so we can move it along. Because I don't think I'm going to watch the whole video because I wanted to go over some of the articles too. But I, I learned about the articles from the video. So let's get it. Formed an interagency group to help combat anti-Semitism President Joe Biden has formed an interagency group to help combat anti-Semitism mm. and Holocaust denial. Now that group will consist of the White House's Domestic Policy Council and the National Security Council. Among other governmental leaders, people within the community, activists, and a whole host of other people to try to figure out how to combat the things that I just said. Now, it should be said that this has become a concern lately as key people in the public, like Donald Trump, he invited Kanye West and Nick Fuentes, who is said to be an anti-Semite, to mar a -Largo, in addition to some of the things that Kanye West has been saying on Twitter and Kyrie Irving posting the movie Hebrews to Negroes on his Twitter and then Elon Musk allowing such things to go forth on Twitter. And so it is also said that second husband or the, the second gentleman, Kamala's husband, never. Oh, sorry, I had to pause her. But I had to pause her because they brought up Kanye. They brought up Kyrie. They brought up Donald Trump. If y'all don't see what this is about, this is the to combat the Hebrew movement. This is to co combat the people from Judea waking up to the Most High God. Let's keep going. Nevertheless, Doug Emoff, he hosted a dinner with leaders from the U.S. in the Jewish community to try to figure out how to stop the anti-Semitism from going forward. Now, specifically, Corinne Jean-Pierre, the press secretary, said this about Biden's new group. This strategy will raise understanding about anti-Semitism and the threat it poses to the Jewish community and all Americans. Address anti-Semitic harassment and abuse both on and offline. Seek to prevent anti-Semitic attacks and incidents and encourage whole of society effort to counter anti-Semitism and build a more inclusive nation. So they're saying this is to combat anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial and other forms of, I guess, bigotry is where they're going with it. But this sounds like the anti-Asian hate crime bill to mm -hmm. me where I can, I can hear it already. I can already hear it. Like, Roland Martin said, well, it's for everybody. That's not just for the Jewish community. It's for everybody. But my thing is, if it's for everybody, why label it, you know, anti-Semitic, you know, bill or whatever it is? Because it's not for everybody. <laughs> I'm going to call it to combat it or whatever. Why not just say this bill is to combat all forms of religious or whatever they're calling it bigotry why not just call it that right but we know this is for the jewish community because they said that over a hundred leaders or lawmakers i should say submitted a letter to the white house saying hey something needs to be done about the anti-semitism and Ooh. holocaust denial and so that's really why this uh group or this new council uh has been formed but i want to know okay so a hundred people <laughs> hit up the president and the president was like, yeah, we got to get on this. Now, for all of y'all people that put Biden in the White House, look, this y'all do come get your man. Wouldn't y'all just marching and protesting? <laughs> and, uh, you know, because we were getting racially profiled and killed and abused. Um, 
That was in 2019, 2019, right? 2019. It's in 2022. It's been three years. It's been three years. Still black people getting killed. We could still get talked and hated on and treated the worst. And hold on. I'm going to prove it. Let's prove it. Matter of fact, let's go to Biden's task force. Let's see what it says first. It says the Biden administration. This is by whoever this news place is. It says uh, the Biden administration announced Monday a new interagency group charged with developing a national strategy to combat anti-Semitism amid a rising tide of vitroid and rhetoric spewed by high-profile public figures. The big picture. The formation of the new group comes on the heels of calls to crack down on the hate crimes and anti-Semitic violence across the U.S., with several lawmakers denouncing links to white nationalists and Holocaust deniers. Um, first off, you see that to crack down on hate crimes and anti-Semitic violence across the U.S. Who's been being violent to them? Let's see. Let's see the hate crime statistics, right? It says together. Uh, wait, let's get around here. Okay, let's go up here. It says according to this year's data. 64.8% of the were targeted because the offenders bias towards race, ethnicity, ancestry, um, which continues to be the largest bias motivation, the largest bias motivation category. Anti-black or anti-African American hate crimes continue to be the largest bias incident category with 63.2 percent of all single bias incidents in 2021 hmm so this is the guy y'all elected and this went up there's more hate crimes now since y'all elected him he passed the asian bill let's go to that real quick before we get back on that house passes the anti-asian hate crime bill the legislation with the with which I'm sorry, the legislation which the Senate overwhelmingly approved last month will next go to the president for his signature. Right? Since the House on Tuesday passed the Senate bill with a third three hundred and sixty four to sixty two vote to address the rise in anti Asian hate crime during COVID nineteen pandemic. The, the legislation, which the Senate passed 94 to 1 vote last month, directs the Department of Justice to expedite the review of COVID related hate crimes that were reported to law enforcement agencies to help them establish ways to report such incidents online and to perform public outreach. Um, <clears throat> let's see if we can find any well I don't want to waste all the time talking about that but anyways they passed that that uh, anti-Asian hate crime bill uh, so you can't have you know can't hate and that's fine I don't it's not nothing against them getting a bill passed for them but we just read right here that Anti-black or African-American hate crimes continue to be the largest bias incident category with 63.2% of all single bias incidents in 2021. We were more than half of the anti, of the anti, the uh, anti-race incidents happen to us. 60 3.2% of all the incidents happen to us, right? It says of all single bi uh, bias incidents in 2021. Additionally, anti-Asian incidents. All right, let's get into that. 
represented 4.3 percent of incidents reported in 2021 so we had 16.2 percent they have 4.3 percent but they got a hate bill passed for them the other largest categories of hate crimes include anti-hispanic or latino incidents with 6.1 of incidents and anti-white incidents so latinos it says the other largest category of hate crimes include anti-Hispanic or Latino incidents with 6.1% of the incidents. Because of how small of a population, that's a huge number because they have such small of a population. It says an anti-white incidents at 13.4 of incidents, percentage of the incidents. Together, Incidents related to sexual orientation or gender represent 19.7% of all single bias reports in 2022. Also, incidents related to religion compromise 14.2% of all incidents. Disability compromise 1.8% and gender compromise 1%. All right, so I just wanted to hit on all of that because we are the most hated. They got a bill. These people got a bill. And if y'all pay attention to this, this is really going to come. They listed Kanye. They listed Kyrie. Like, what did Kyrie really even do? So they don't even have to fully explain oh, the, what the word mean. It could just mean anything they consider to be anti-Semitic. And now we have to pass a bill to crack down on anti-Semitic stuff when, as we see, because what they believe is a religion, right? So it says, what, where was religion at? Religion compromise, comprised, religion comprised 14.2% of the incidents. But blacks, <laughs> with African Americans, anti-black or anti-African American hate crimes continue to be the largest biased incident category with 63.2%. Yet we didn't get a bill. And you know what? I'm not looking to Biden. I, I just felt like people who believed him was a joke. And y'all should see that now. And, and it's still a lot of people that's all political and democratic off the cliff people. Like, what has he done for you? What has he done to improve anything in the country or for the people? Nothing. While we going through bias, he passed a law, which is really going to come down on us. So Hebrews, brothers, be careful because y'all be out there sometimes with the quick tongues, busting people chops. Be careful because they watching now. They've been watching, but like they about to crack down on that. So if you going if we going to put something out, let's put it out in all truth and honesty and not let let's not go the next level above to be extra disrespectful let's just be truthful because we don't have to be mean we shouldn't have anger towards anybody right and i went to psalms so we're in psalms chapter 25 and we're gonna say right here where are we at we're gonna go to okay says and we're gonna start at 11 for thy name's sake O lord pardon mine iniquity for it is great what is he that feareth the lord him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose his soul shall dwell with ease and his seed shall inherit the earth the secrets of the lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. So that's what we waiting on. Is this we we're in the mercy. We're waiting on on me. We're wow, oh, we about to get it, right? The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh bring thou me out of my distress. So God sees what's going on. And this and he's gonna bring us out of the distress. 
says, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Praise Christ for that, right? Kaula, higher by Shemeshaya. Praise him for that, right? It says, consider mine enemies, for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred. Right? And what were we were just talking about? Anti-hate bills, right? Our enemies hate us with cruel hatred. All of the in all of the communities who got the anti hate bills hate us, and the people who pass the anti hate bills they hate us. It says, "Oh, keep thy soul." It says, "Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed." It says, "Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me." For I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. You see, so this is what we're waiting on. We knew Biden wasn't going to deliver us. And anybody who believed Biden was going to deliver them is lost and need a little bit of help. We knew we knew that dude, Biden. When, it, when that dude got in the office and said... <laughs> He said, he said, if you don't vote for Biden, you're not black. When he said that, y'all should have knew, like, <laughs> this dude, <laughs> this dude wouldn't going to help nobody, man. He wasn't going to do a thing for nobody. He is a disastrous president and probably put in place to end up leading this country into its destruction and this doom, so... On that note, we're going to wrap up the video, man. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Look, I got, uh, oh, hit the like button. <laughs> uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, drop a comment. And let's have a chat about this, man. And I'm just, this is just my advice, man. First off, we shouldn't be going at each other. We shouldn't be going at each other and hating each other. We got to get past that. Like we might not have all the same beliefs. We might our doctrine might be a little bit different. You remember in the Bible where uh, they came and said, "Man, these people are healing in your name." What did Christ say? You see, we got to start. Uh, we got to start being like that. We got to start if we if everybody doing it for God, we got to start doing that. If everybody trying to keep the laws and the commandments of God. We got to start doing that and, and linking up with each other and supporting each other. Even if we don't link up physically, supporting each other, uplifting each other, right? So instead of tearing each other down, because first off, for a lot of people, it seems like that's what they're going to have to start doing. Because I watch a lot of people and... I understand everything they're saying, so I'm not going to go against these brothers. Sometimes I object if they go a little overboard. I really just don't like us hating on each other. So if they hating on another brother, I, I tend to jump in. But they're going to be stopping everybody from doing any type of the load ups, the video. Like, I might not be able to do videos soon with this whole anti Semitic view. They might consider what I'm doing anti Semitic, even though I've never had no hatred, no jealousy, no envy, no malice, no anything towards none of the, none of them. Matter of fact, I pray for them because I don't believe they know any better. So I pray for them, even though they're my enemies, because I understand what the punishment of when Christ comes. When Christ comes and, and he saves us and redeems us, I understand what the punishment of those people who won't be redeemed will be. Eternal judgment, eternal punishment, eternal damnation. We may suffer now for a moment. It's like a, a woman having a baby like Christ broke down. Like the woman have a baby and, you know. When she in labor, she going through all that pain. But once the baby is out of her and is in her arms, you know, and she got her baby now, she that pain eases her mind and she focused on the baby for that moment, right? So, like, that's how it's going to be. 
when Christ comes, man, all our pain, all our sorrows, everything, the righteous people, everything that we are going through will be done and will cease to exist against us ever again. All right. So on that note, I just want to be like, uh, <laughs> peace out. <laughs> uh, Brakata. Right. Shalom. Peaceful greetings. Uh, and y'all have a blessed day, man. Y'all have a blessed day. And enjoy y'all evening. Enjoy y'all day. And I'm glad y'all peeped the video. Peace out.